Things are getting scary this Monday morning as we are talking about Marquette's Haunted Hayride coming to town and joining us in the studio Hi. is Andy Gorieski. Good with morning. The, good morning. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. It was great. Yes. So I guess, first of all, what is the Haunted Hayride? What is the Haunted Hayride? Um, this has been our, this is our 16th year of doing this now. And in a nutshell, what this is, is it is a seasonal community event that we put on for our community, but it's not we putting it on, it is so many volunteers, everybody's volunteer, and it's all put on by these youth or nonprofit groups. And at the end of the day, all the ticket money and everything gets split evenly between all these. That's incredible. So yeah. it's a great event for you and your family and friends to come to, but then you're supporting not one, not two, but you're supporting usually about 22 different groups. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, what can people expect from coming to the event this year? It's a scary event. I mean, it's not like super bad, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's a haunted hayride. That is what it is. You get on a tractor and a trailer with usually about 40 other people and you go through the whole backwoods of the fairgrounds for about 25 minutes. All the scenes that you drive by are put on by area youth or nonprofit groups. So they try to scare the spit out of you. <laughs> and when you're done with that, then you get off the trailer. You have your choice of being done or you can walk through the haunted barn, which oh. is about another 10 to 15 minutes if you make it out. Right? <laughs> yeah. So what is your favorite part about this whole event for you? When it's done. <laughs> no, it's a great event. Um, you know, it's just, it's turned into such a well-oiled machine, really. It's a lot of work, but now it's a lot of work for a lot of people instead of just the choice couple that it kind of started. It's just, it's amazing how this has grown mm -hmm. from this little idea that my husband and I had back in 2008. Wow. And I was like, let's just try it. Well, here we are, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I, years I, later. Right? I've got, I went to it last year, and it was a spectacular show. I was very impressed. It was the, my first time ever going, and it was amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's, there's a lot of, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of blood and sweat and tears. Like, you know, the groups are out there building and constructing and painting and hammering and hanging and digging holes and all these things right now. But they do all this work for our community. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, people want to go. Can you give us kind of the uh, details, time, day, place, sure. and ticket information? Yep, absolutely. So this event is the third weekend in October every year. It is always the third weekend. So this year it happens to fall on 17th, 18th, and 19th. So we do it on a Thursday night, 7.30 to 9.30, because usually the kids still have school on Friday. Friday and Saturday night is 7.30 to 11. However, if you have your ticket and you've purchased your ticket, we go until every single person gets on the ride. Excellent. So even though we right. stop selling tickets mm -hmm. at 11, we will go until everybody's done. That's amazing. Everybody gets their chance you to, get your no chance. matter what, right. you get on. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Tickets are on sale. They went on sale on Tuesday. Uh, via our website and Eventbrite. It was a really busy day on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I do believe that there's only a handful of fast passes left, but general admission tickets are there. That way you don't have to wait in line to purchase them when you get to the event. Um, or you can purchase them at the event too. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I mean, it's, it's amazing how people come together for this. And yeah, I know it's just Halloween. It's my favorite, but <laughs> it's a great community event. It keeps everybody local nobody have you don't have to go to green bay you don't have to go to all these other places for stuff you can keep your money local by supporting us and then supporting other haunted attractions it's the time of the year it is mm -hmm. yes thank you so much andy for joining us You're this welcome. morning yeah. thank you thanks for having me and i appreciate it very much of course and we'll be right back with more my up mornings after the break